there are so many reasons for a temporary reduction in your energy, optimism or enthusiasm, for example. A. Slow progress B. Reduced confidence in your abilities C. Negative remarks from people close to you D. Feeling tired or run down E. Information or decision overload F. A disappointing outcome to your actions G. An unexpected setback The feelings above discourage you and encourage procrastination. These feelings cause a reduction in productivity and accomplishments. I've discovered that even highly successful people have the same feelings sometimes. All you can do, because we cannot avoid disappointment all the time, is to provide yourself with information and tools that can change your emotional state into a more positive one. When you try to achieve anything there will always be difficulties in the process, overcoming these difficulties will build your character, and make you ready to control your lifestyle, when you've achieved all of your goals. This is sometimes called, character building, because going through various trials along the way, makes you stronger in the long term. I have put together a physical library of books, together with audible books and videos, which stimulate positive thoughts and ideas in my mind. I particularly use this information when I'm not feeling in a peak state, and I'm not ready to fight the world. Even when I have read or reviewed the information many times, I find that when I go back and reread it I learn something new every time, due to my growing experience and changing perspective. So, I highly recommend you also build a range of resources that will support you through the good and the difficult times. Successful people never stop learning. They always remain curious and have a thirst for knowledge and do their best to gain it through research and reading. Lifelong learning is definitely the most fundamental step in becoming an outstanding and successful performer in life, career or business. Upgrading your skills isn't complicated at all, but it requires commitment. Here are some key success practices. Be curious. Learning can be fun and stimulating. You should see success as a journey instead of a destination. Be willing to try. You must be willing to learn and experiment with new things. Don't be afraid to fail. You should learn from your mistakes and failures. To be better at it the next time, you simply experiment with another approach. Seek help. Admit what you do not know and ask for help or find it online. We are very lucky that we live in a special time where almost all the information available on this planet is available to us, through the internet whenever you have a doubt, question or even insecurity, seek as much information about it as possible online. You will find the more you know about any particular subject the less of a challenge it becomes. The benefits of continual learning include Being more motivated and enthusiastic Higher personal performance Receiving better results and avoids procrastination. In this short but powerful video we have covered. 1. Prepare for a dip in your optimism or enthusiasm, it is normal. 2. However successful you become you will still have these challenging moments. 3. You will build a stronger more resilient character the more resistance you overcome. 4. Put together motivational resources to use to support you. 5. Never stop learning new information that can help you. 6. Blend persistence with experimentation. 7. You are not alone, your experiences are not unique, research others who had similar experiences. 8. Use the power of the internet to fill any knowledge gaps and to motivate you. It has been said many times that the only common factor to all success is persistence. As I said above, I believe that it is persistence blended with experimentation. This is because if you keep doing the same thing over and over you will get the same results. So, if the results are not satisfactory you need to try a different approach, but never stop advancing towards your goals. I'll have more suggestions for you in the next video.